21 of my 2022 Christmas vintage food tutorial series. It is almost done, guys. I can't believe it. I said almost, not completely done. But for sure, is that the fourth and last feature dedicated to a Victorian Ivanopolis is really complete. Still a secret, and I will keep it until the day I will upload my final 2022 Christmas vintage video. So for next time I will need to hide the cover with something because I also need to manage the North Pole section with buildings, uh, trees, uh, elves, uh, reindeers, etc. But let's talk about part 21. Many micro scenes to build around the main uh, buildings then also add street furniture, park benches, street lamps, uh, trees, uh, some more steampunk elements, uh, many more fences to place, and then, then more than 200 figurines to accommodate. I know, I told you I had more than 150 figurines to accommodate, but I just finished counting them. They are more than 200 figurines, plus the ones that you, I have already placed here. So a lot of space to manage, trying to get everything decently placed on the layout. What else? I am certainly forgot, yes, some words and obviously something here, all along the scriptorium section. I don't want to add some more fences here because I already have the uh, steampunk copper medieval fences that are too good looking at least for me to be either. So maybe uh, a small hedge row, a small flowers, garden flowers or something like that just to prevent the people from falling down. But not that tall, maybe one centimeter, one centimeter and a half, I still don't know. Just for uh, preventing people, as I said, to fall down and not leaving that as it is because it's a nonsense like it is. But I still need to work on it, maybe during the next hour I will manage something then send uh, quickly it to the printer. Enough talking. I will start by digging some also for the colors that are still in the process to be finished. Uh, let's go.
that the stars have drawn That's why
Final recap of part 21, and it is once again around 2 a.m. in the morning. It seems that I have a subscription with 2 a.m. in the morning. Anyway, I've worked almost entirely on the layout here, and more precisely on trying to assemble some micro scenes around the main buildings. The general overlook of the layout is now this one. Okay, and let me go a little deeper into the details and I will start from what I've not filmed and more precisely the two buildings right there, guys. Uh, fences, white fences here, uh, little white fences. I've used a double-sided tape to uh, get them stable on the on the styrofoam uh, then uh, this is a residential area um, Morrison Manor if I remember correctly and this one it is uh, I don't remember guys sorry but uh, anyway I also um, started placing some figurines here and there uh, especially here on the residential area. I still need to place something, some props, but this is the overlook of the residential area. And of course, here in the corner is still missing the new building. Okay, I don't like this very much because it, it's too small, but it is effective. Okay, white. Uh, especially because it is white, I will lose them once I, I will sparse the snow all around. Uh, you will uh, get the impression that there is no fences at all. But uh, I have them, let's use them. Then the Earl Grey there, I, have, I added the Earl Grey there, uh, in the middle between the Mountain View Lodge and the stairs, to get attract to get the viewer attracted towards the Earl Grey and then the stairs that will go up with some figurines on top of it. Here, I see. Oops, I have a big a big scratch on my hand. Sorry. Um, here, I uh, still needed to figure out a scene there, and I've also. Uh, enlarge the groove here to hide the uh, power cords and I hope it will be enough otherwise I will have to detach all the fences and I don't want to detach all the, all the fences for the street lamps I will go with another route okay because I will need also street lamps here maybe I think here some trees with uh, uh, snowball bottles I don't know the train station here. Chief there, and then I've replaced uh, Mad Hatter that it was too massive with Sweeney Todd there. Uh, and all around those park benches, and this is the waiting room for the station, guys. I wanted to give a um, new. Um, the idea that steampunk is current um, brutality, violence, it's normal for them. So why not reading a good newspaper with the last 24 hours death or the last 24 battles around the city? Anyway, it is normal currency. Normal currency for them, uh, steampunk and at least uh, something brutal. So... This is how I figure out. Then this is the tree market. I come across this one three days ago. It is from Louisville, guys, I think. Yes. Yes, it is from Louisville. I still need to replace the uh, battery, um, the battery power by a cord, by a power cord, but it is working. And you can see that it is working. An LED. Those are not too big, not too small from Louisville, the same uh, as some uh, as uh, the, the kiss, the two people kissing. But 
tree market. It is not that bad. I think it's from. Uh, they don't write it. Patch number 22. No, um, it's not like Lemax that they write the hero production the, of the collection um, under the figuring, no, under the buildings. No. But this one is from Louisville. Mm, at least it is well defined. And look at the, at the old man selling the uh, trees there. Uh, very, very, very well designed and defined. I still need to have uh, the canal fences here all along because I will need a couple of stairs getting down towards this boat because I forgot that I also have this little boat here so from this side with the uh, little crane with the hand crane here for the little boy uh, a ladder and a small wharf uh, or uh, something like that. Uh, here, nothing modified, but I completed here uh, with a, a couple of park benches. I just noticed that they are not in line, but right there, like that. And this is almost complete. Each time I complete a, a little section, I add the kennel fences. I think that that street lamp will get enough light towards here. I think even towards uh, Neptune, the fearless god. And then the carolers are finally at ground, <laughs> at, uh, ground level there. Okay, and I've got problems for the power cords that are now behind it. Then I've drilled a hole. I make a hole. I made a hole on the styrofoam from the back, from the down to up there and the power cords go there. Pretzel. I still need, okay, yes, street lamps. I've also started showing you how I manage the street lamps, placing them, then using the T connector there that allow me to place all the street lamps in parallel uh, along these, these couple of wires uh, and plus and minus so I can manage each here the length I need from one street lamp to another without having to um, uh, cut anything but I just simply need to open the T connector there move it slide it to the right or to the left and reclip it and the, those wires are always the same all, all the years. I just, uh, each time I dismantle my, uh, my village, I remove the street lamps from the uh, two wires and then use them next season. Here, I still need to um, decide where to place the other street lamps all along this border here so I didn't um, um, make any groove for the pretzel uh, little stand there. I know it is a little too big but I love that little stand especially the big giant pretzel on the roof there. Then continuing here you are I added some um, very very small um, stone walls they are um, very short okay so they didn't they don't prevent anything to be seen from the front to what it is behind okay and I can uh, this way I will be able to make different scenes and divide by two the space front and rear or front and rear if you prefer so two different type of scenes from this side and from the other side uh, by the way at the end i decided to go that for me it's like a shrine people need to get um, some privacy and maybe pray to to sherlock no but i, I intended this as a shrine as a sherlock shrine a little intimacy there. 
then this one is a classic very big but it is a classic and made dolls with the two girls getting there Oof. and then here uh, another another wall there but as always i want to give you the impression that uh, this little <laughs> this little this red squid the giant squid is nothing for them uh, it's nothing seeing a giant squid attacking a submarine and even two little girls eating some candies i think yes or some some pretzels or some cake i don't know they are enjoying the view and they are absolutely not afraid of this giant one this is steampunk this is normal as uh, uh, going uh, to disney world and see mickey mouse in front of you this is the mickey mouse of steampunk no i'm joking guys sorry then why not uh, using the space for the and use the space there for the building snow because it is too um too short i have not enough space but those two those three stands here they are my favorite stands this one absolutely my favorite stand of all the time the jingle bells pure victorian guys i love that stance i will always put it in my layout then the christmas ornament little stand also very very uh victorian even if it is a little too tall this one is new that's the reason why i don't have a power cord yet attached to it but it's it's Victorian too, warm and fresh, oops, and then it is rolls and bread there. I almost ruined everything here, okay? But this is not that bad. It is Christmas, yes, it is. it has a little too much glitter on top of it, but also this is new. It is not from uh, Louisville, this one maybe yes i don't remember guys i've removed the maybe yes maybe it is i bought it in the same section as the louisville little uh, stands there but it is very well defined very well designed um but i don't think it is louisville. anyway uh, it, it's well suited for a christmas village like mine and it fits perfectly under the um, the uh, the stairs there the steampunk stairs every space need to be used then there uh, sorry i hadn't i had no time to paint that but uh, those are the rings i i, I still keep kept from when I cut the three ring for the three ring circus. This is the inside. Okay, guys, uh, you are, um, maybe you are wondering, the, the small one, the small one are from the, um, the stands there, okay? So I, I keep everything, I, and that's why, because it helped me getting a different, uh, type of stand for the Christmas band there and then added some park benches and then uh, everything else there Oliver Twist is not there anymore I have Mary Poppins and Oliver Swift is there I wanted a couple kissing from each side of the fountain Luckily, I have this one. It is the most beautiful, romantic. I say it, I, I tell you every single season, the most romantic figurine from Lemax. And that one is the most romantic figurine from Louisville. I love them, both of them. Even if this is steampunk, brutality, violence, love can coexist. And why not kissing there? 
maybe kissing just beside the statue of the steampunk statue of Jack the Reaper, guys. Who cares? Who cares? It's it's not that that bad, uh, Jack the Reaper anymore in a steampunk world, in a steampunk reality. It is a little <laughs> no, a little uh, little uh, little puppet, okay. Uh, little puppy skull, sorry, compared to what it is, what they are used uh, to live in steampunk. Then the carriers, guys. You have seen that I have removed the street lamps. Uh, it is a very beautiful, and I've not uh, broke anything. I simply, uh, I simply unglue it. I detached it. I, I still can uh, replace it. Uh, whenever I want, but that big tool, maybe I will get it there once again. It's here, guys. I still, but if I have that, no, front, that street lamp there, in plain middle of <laughs> of everything. Nothing to do with the other street lamps. Uh, it caused me too many troubles. So by simply ungluing it, and it is not ruined, guys. It is simply unglued, okay? Uh, uh, by simply ungluing the uh, street lamp, it's more better. It's possible to place it more easily anywhere. So I place it. Yeah, I place those carers, the, the the that uh, carer family, right there. Uh, I love that. Look at the beauty of that Louisville there, grandpa, uh, grandson, and big snowman. I love. I sincerely love Louisville uh, figurines. It's a pity that they don't have a larger catalog and that it is very, and they are absolutely not that um, cheap. But look at the scarf, look at the expression of the grandpas, the carrot, everything. Perfect, guys. And I also used, uh, after many years, those uh, Victorian fences there. No lights there. That's why I don't like them. Maybe one day I will modify them, at least the central gate there with some LED. I already checked it, it is possible to do. Uh, but I love them. The Shoe Shiner, guys, it is a classic, very rare figurines, that one. Rare, rare figurine, okay? Shoe Shine, there. Uh, I love mixing news, news figurines with Oh, very old figurines and JJ hi JJ still there okay then I've tried to go each time having the the view not blocked by anything and this is how I generally work here I wanted to get to let you see the park bench so I haven't placed the park bench here you have a free view towards the back then here, I don't have anything very important here, uh, so park bench. Then the statue, in plain middle of the gate, not important. Then here, having there, I have uh, uh, an important figure in there, so nothing here, uh, an empty park bench. Then here, some carolers here, the, the mm, mom and dad there, that it, they are in the middle of nothing. And then the children here, that they, they don't um, block the view to Noah's Christmas boutique because they are little ones. The shoe shine here, it is there, not blocking the view of anything. Same thing for the kissers there, kissing goodbye. They are in the middle uh, between two buildings, then empty park benches. Then before I have he, the intention to have here, Sweeney Todd or Mary Poppins, too tall, too big, and too tall. They would have prevented you from seeing 
and the new uh, conservatory gardens there. And then another empty park bench because I want you to see inside there. Then nothing here and you can get there. Also, I've replaced it. They, it's not the same park benches, guys. That one uh, against the wall, it is red, but I don't care. I wanted a family with a little child, a newborn, besides armed, gun armed Alice in Wonderland. Normal, normality, guys. <laughs> this is steampunk. Then nothing changed here uh, for Frankie. There, guys. Okay. I love that corner. Oops, a little higher. Simply because that tree is perfect for that building there. Okay? And... Uh, uh, mom and three little children uh, preparing the Christmas tree that it is illuminated guys I, with the stars with the, um, the stars on the top the um, yellow stars and the candles that can get uh, switched on and then a bird house on the left I love that building especially in front of that uh, I love that the Christmas tree, sorry, in front of that building. It's the perfect combination. Uh, so I went th that way. Nothing changed on the windmill section, still nothing changed on the windmill section. Then, guys, what I did, what I also did, oh yes, I worked on that corner, guys. On that corner there, okay? I had a, let's get the camera there. I added a uh, Boisson Chaud, it is hot drinks. Hot drinks there, near a school, it's, it's aloe, okay? It's aloe, okay? It's not like having some candy shop near to the school, it's, it's hot hot cocoa, hot coffee, hot tea good for a winter a very rigid winter, okay? and then the massive, guys, I will show you more precisely it's a beautiful figurine, but it is too massive, guys it's also a rare one I, it's not from Lemax nor Louisville but I love those figurines it is massive, guys very very massive uh, a, a nun with a couple of little girls preparing the christmas recital there near a school it is perfect guys but as always it's my only opinion uh what else what else nothing nothing more uh, but i have two things to show you Mm, two things to show you because it is it's getting close to the end guys maybe 22 or 23 maximum 23 part 23 and this will uh, be finished so two weeks behind schedule i've managed to work harder and uh, so i not that that much behind the schedule only two weeks behind the last season schedule i told you that i wanted uh, something for the uh, scriptorium section and the first batch of uh, hedges of low uh, row oops row hedges just came out of the printer just finished yeah it is still white guys uh, let me maybe show you against something okay this is a small arcade um 1.5 centimeter tall uh, row hedge 
okay and i will obviously paint them green and uh, yellowish and then two or three shades of green and then i will go in that way uh, it's possible because those are monks they can also be good gardeners even steampunk monks even uh, among heavy monks you can find good gardeners so hedge rows there uh, the other batch i have five of them then another batch is printing i don't i'm i didn't went completely all in with the 25 of them because i wanted to see the result before um going uh, ahead and mass producing them so uh, another five will be out of the printer in the next two hours and i think i will be able to complete the this section here still need to paint the big container there i will need to do a lot of painting work for next um next part 22 uh, and also i forgot to connect in the building that the home of, home for christmas building and also needed to make the last uh, um, micro scenes in front of it and then add uh, plenty of more or uh, plenty more uh, figurines okay last thing guys because these uh final recap is almost half an hour long bloop here guys i added uh a complete disaster here uh, a hole a complete hole so yesterday night i modeled something different uh, let me get something before okay just a second generally i use those monstrous things there to simulate uh, a tunnel there okay good yes and this is stone guys it is real it is real stone yes not that tall because they don't they 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 aren't 12 centimeters tall uh effective yes a little not perfect for me uh, but i used them in the last three seasons along the, tr the last three seasons it was a good solution, yes. But yesterday I thought, no, let's improve as I always wanted to improve each year. So I modeled and 3D printed this one, guys. Here, obviously, I will close with some rock paper, but this is a more defined, a more precise, entry tunnel or exit tunnel for a uh, railroad with the arc and this is filament 3d printed guys 12 centimeters tall obviously no uh, no patterns in the back just in the fr in front but i don't think that it is a bad result for a filament printer Obviously, this couldn't have been printed with the resin printer. Okay, I have a couple of them. And then also from the other side, guys, it is sweet for the other side too, like that. Obviously, I will need to push a little bit this. Okay. Like that. But it is more realistic, obviously, I need to paint inside because I can't afford having a white inside a gallery of tunnel. So, uh, a 3D printer is very useful, guys. <laughs> During the last three seasons, I had to manage with what I had found because this is not the classic... train scale h o or n they, this is much bigger 
this is 1 to 48 normally mm, normal uh, train model scales are 1 to 187 1 to uh, 80 80 86 but 1 to 48 is is gigantic compared to two train modelers this is on 30 my train scale is on 30 i but I've I've uh, um, uploaded uh, a tutorial on uh, train scales. So, so this is huge. So I had to get a three D printer, a couple of three D printer to be able to uh, add to my Christmas villa just what I really needed. This is absolutely not present in any. Um, Christmas village producer catalog, no, and not even in train catalogs, okay? That's why I, I told you, yes, let's do whatever I can by hand, by myself, but let's get help from a 3D printer. You get much better result in the end. I had to, to renounce to many of that little stands. I have another 15 of them, but no space for them at all for these 2022 uh, Christmas village. Guys, see you for the outro. 3D printers are absolutely very useful if you are a Christmas village builder. Do you need one of them? If you wanted to progress, I think so, at least in my opinion, simply because the market nowadays don't offer everything you may need to complete what you have managed to visualize for your Christmas village. Is it possible to achieve this kind of precision with simply styrofoam? and a carving tool or a pencil, yes, but 20, 24 hours of work, especially because it's not on the same level, because you have different layers, different levels, it's not a flat surface. Three hours of printing with a 3D printer, this kind of result. Uh, but it is also one of the main reason that at me so behind the schedule this season. Modeling and 3D printing everything, then painting everything I added to this Christmas village is very time consuming. I'm only, I'm, I think I will be only two uh, weeks behind the schedule simply because I practically didn't sleep an hour in the last three weeks. Guys, no, I slept no more than two hours each night in the past three weeks. I'm a little tired, yes, but it was the only way to get this village done in time by Christmas. Maybe mm, some days before Christmas, I hope. Uh, will I continue using a 3D? Ah, absolutely, yes. Absolutely, yes. I will try to improve getting something bigger, something better each time. And guys, it's not priceless today's having a 3D printer. Please, don't forget to subscribe, comment and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English. And see you next time. Don't if you really need it.